So today we're going to work on the bathroom upstairs in our room. Uh, we've moved in, but we haven't even touched this room. Literally all that we've done is taken out the toilet so that we could paint the wall behind it. Um, and actually we've just primered. I sprayed this room and we decided that was the worst thing possible with the kilts because it got all over everything. So we still need to prime up where the walls meet the ceiling. Um, but today we're gonna rip out the bathtub and the surround. It doesn't have a shower in it right now. So I'm gonna add one to it. And we have a new bathtub and surround uh, that we're gonna try to put in. So we bought a bathtub and a surround last weekend. We've just been keeping it out here in the shed because it's pretty big. Um, but this is what we got. It's a Delta, but seemed like a decent brand and a decent price. So you could definitely spend twice as much as what we did. Um, so we just tried to kind of meet in the middle on the price and quality. We have some uh, Sluter left over from when we did the kitchen. And we have mortar and one box of that tile left over. So our goal is to tile the bathrooms the same way we did the kitchen with the same tile. Uh, we actually really like that tile. It was easy to work with. I think being how big it was, we didn't have to make as many cuts. So we're going to do that again in these bathrooms. And it turned out really nice in the bathroom downstairs. So these are a little bit bigger than that. So I don't think it'll look bad at all. Did that do it? Huh? No. That was it. got all of this around out we got the valve off and the in the uh there's like a cover that goes there it doesn't actually do anything not sure what to call it we got the pump out of here from the jacuzzi part um all that's left is where the drain and the i guess that would be the overflow where that plate went where the drain and the overflow meet there's a t and it is connected down here with a with another fitting i don't know if you'll be able to see it so but i can't get that out see it comes apart right there so i'm gonna cut and get out a little bit i'm gonna cut back here so that i don't mess up that t just in case i don't have any other way of connecting to it
distinct. Yeah. Like urine. Can you roll that up and be put it in the bag? mixing valve the shower head and the uh the tub spout are on a, a drop ear 90 so they'll be nice and sturdy and then we uh well we set all that off 16 inches from this stud so that would be half of our tubs 32 inches well i went and measured the tub and turns out all of the drains and everything on it are at 14 inches that's what that not quite a circle is representing so now we get to move that drain which you can tell the plumber who did this the first time just used a chainsaw or something to really hack at the joists but so it won't be too hard we'll and we won't use a sanitary tee like they have here but anyways we'll come over with a tee at a 45 or, or whatever we need to to hit the drain maybe it'll land about right here um and then the same thing i'm gonna turn the uh the, the, the 90 that goes on the back of the tub i'm gonna turn it and then come down and catch that the 90 uh for that overflow the one the, the plate that we picked actually has one screw hole in the middle of it so you won't be able to tell how it's clocked one way or the other so that worked out in, in our favor but it means I get to undo all of my plumbing and move it over um, and start over on that. 
So we're, uh, we've got everything kind of pushed into this room so that we can keep going about our daily lives without living in a construction zone. And then we'll pick back up from there.